Well, hello there. Guess what? It's time for this week's video. Get ready. Well, um, thanks to uh, a good friend of ours, Dan, in the in the private group uh, on Facebook for the Gospel Revolution private group. Um, he posted an article uh, in from Charisma. Charisma ma magazine about uh, the need to, to tell people about the reality of hell. It gives 24 reasons, and uh, so, and of course, Dan is talking about now that he understands the gospel, uh, he has a completely different view. <clears throat> so, um, which is awesome, and so let me explain why Dan and the rest of us have a completely different view. Uh, there's a good reason. Uh, some friends of ours, uh, Steve and Aaron Essery, they wrote a book called The Hour We Least Expected, and in there they talk about the issue of hell, and uh, their first question is, if there's a hell, why didn't God ever tell the Jews about it? They're right. Throughout the Old Testament, the Hebrew Scriptures, uh, the only time you, you see the word hell is because some English translators decided on their own arbitrarily to, to use that word instead of the word they use most of the time because it's always the same word it's Sheol the Hebrew word is Sheol and it means the grave which they mostly translated as the grave except when they saw where it could work to their advantage I suppose or at least fit the doctrines they were tr trained in to call it hell instead of the grave but it, it was always the grave um, and uh, so in the New Testament when Jesus mentions hell most of the time he's referring to um, uh, Gehenna which is an old garbage dump that is now in modern days it is a city park but um, it was an old garbage dump where the, they burned things day and night, and sometimes that included bodies. Um, occasionally, he does mention Hades, which is the place or the dwelling place of the dead, um, using um, another using a Greek term. But Sheol means the grave or the dwelling place of the dead. So no difference there. So the there's also um, a friend of ours his name is Gary Amaralt and he has a website called tentmaker.org I believe it could be com and Gary probably did the most exhaustive work I've ever seen on debunking hell throughout the Bible and uh, for good reason he's very valid um, so let's first explain uh, I think it's important to explain that um, uh, the Jews uh, did not have a fear of going to hell, but they were looking for a savior, they were looking for a messiah to save them from sin, and they hoped that they would not die before the messiah came because they didn't want to die in their sin. If any of them were afraid, they would be afraid of dying in their sin before the Messiah came. And that would be probably, you know, weak faith on their part or something. But the patriarchs, Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, Moses, David, they had a hope of a Messiah who would come and uh, redeem them from sin. Even if they were in the grave, um, they had a hope that God would not leave them in the grave. Uh, even and David even writes about it in the Psalms and God did not leave them in the grave he spiritually resurrected them to life in Christ Jesus the Messiah who did come to an everlasting life and um, so that is the truth about hell um, so thank you Dan for posting that article because occasionally people tell me that I should um, do more videos on hell. Um, it's not anything I really think about all that often, and that's why you don't see too many. I know it's revolutionary, but think about it and have a revolutionary week. <laughs>